So it's a Thursday night in a cold Cambridge. And I'm very pleased to say that joining me in the studio tonight is Stacker Lyrics, aka S Class. Welcome to the studio, mate. It's a pleasure to have you in. Hey, mate, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure to be here, man. I kind of want to get a little bit of a flavour about what you're about and, you know, where you've come from in your career as a hip hop artist. So it's a long story because you've, mm. you're someone who's been around the scene for a very long time, <laughs> you know, one role or another. Let's start at the beginning. What got you into music and then ultimately led you down the path of, you know, wanting to work in hip hop? Uh, yeah, like you say, man, it's a long story. I'm going to try and keep it short. Getting into music, my mum and dad in the back of the car, listening to some old soul, Motown, whatever they used to listen to, a bit of everything. And then from there, I just always found myself drawn to various styles of music, you know what I mean? And hip-hop was the one, like, say, 92, 93. I settled in that. This became what I was about. And so the culture interests me uh, research it, I just fell into it and then later into my teenage years I wanted to give something back to this culture that was come from America and we're all doing it over here now and it's in our heart and then it just becomes part of you and you end up keep writing and keep recording doing things and here I am you know still doing things all these years later man. In, in the 90s with the the massive boom in you know US hip-hop how was it for you like as, as a kid from the UK getting into that scene I, I know there was a UK scene there but when I was Listening to the music in the 90s, it was just fresh. I used to always have one one earphone in. I think I came into it at a beautiful point in the early 90s where it was starting to hone itself to the point where people are still making stuff that's blueprinted off for the back of that, myself included. My, the 90s sound runs through what I do now. Uh, for me, just as a music fan, you know, like it's in the 90s, you know, Cypress Hill, Far Side, Souls of Mischief. Wu-Tang, mate. Wu-Tang changed my life. Yeah, man. Hi, Talk hi, about religion and for stuff. For me, we were talking about earlier, like High and Mighty, not necessarily a well-known like hip-hop like nah, but they group but it, man. that really got me into it yeah, in a big way big tunes man b-boy document you know yeah stuff totally like that. man that just smashes it that, that whole album home field advantage is just one of the cornerstones of my my hip-hop education yeah, as man. i like to call it yeah and we all got them as well you know these albums like for me 36 chambers and obscure ones stuff like laws of the underground keepers of the funk that was a big album for me, always in my earphones, you know what I mean? Yeah. At school on the way to school on the way back. and We all got different albums, but that era was full of it. And I think now we're starting to come back around. And I think now we're starting to see the 90s become sort of popular again. That essence, and people like that essence. Mm. Real lyricism. Before it was trying to get in a music game or anything, you, you were trying to have skills and trying to prove yeah. something and trying to, you know, be somebody in your area rather than thinking you can make a job out of it or whatever. You know what I mean? Nowadays, people just want a job in music, but it's... It's more than that, you know what I mean? We've gotten to the point where, you know, you've been hugely inspired by 90s hip-hop mm. and you'd decided to give something back. What was the next step for you and, and moving into, you know, delegates from there? From there, I basically went to school with some very talented MCs, grew up with them, you know, people like Inja, Scuff, Toe from Delegates, and now Bioviolence, dubstep producer and stuff. We all grew up together, so it was nothing, man. We just came together, used to rhyme and stuff. Another one of our bridges, Mad Prolific, basically was the first guy I knew from Cambridge that was rhyming writing hip-hop lyrics freestyling and he basically showed me the way on on writing rhymes and freestyling or at least got me knowing that I could do it or want to do it and so he was detrimental a lot of people don't know my prolific really done an awful lot for everybody to be in a position where they could actually do this you know and feel like they can do it and he's underrated he made himself so that not many people know but people need to recognize that name right there man but yeah me prolific Inja, scuff basically we came together and made a little group called mental minds for a thought processor and that was as mental as it sounds us four coming together we were used to just spin around two turntables and two mics and j- used freestyle tapes and freestyle tapes and got a little bit heard like that we met all the rest of the delegates B and Axel and Chris Groove and Ilseer and all of these guys come from all over and they were brought to town by various reasons um, universities being one of them you know ilseer has got his PhD now and stuff like that but all of these people were they had their own crew called Collaboration we came together just sort of gelled and at the time there wasn't many people doing hip hop in Cambridge everybody was a jungle MC and stuff like that so when we come together it was right make a big crew out of it rather than stay as two little crews and we come together and started making some tunes like that and then made a little demo sent that off to people like Disorder Task Force and people like that and they replied and we got to work with them and then do shows off the back of that and been a long long story ever since yeah it's Daka Lyrics Delegates of Culture Ryan Pad Records Remy Lack Remix of Home Big Up PBC introducing for letting me up in here I don't know how that happened but I'm here Bridge City, what? 
I ain't the same as your favourite chart rapper Cause I only talk honestly Stay on the humble when these MCs lack modesty Everybody on at me like where you get your wallabies I don't know I tell them Petty Curie probably cause that's where the clerks at Jesus Green, that's where the park's at Parkside, that's where the shark's at If you want authority, if not, follow me I got a large sack of chronic leaf. It's not all college, please You better get to know There's locals in the bridge But we're kept on the low Like we lower the tone Really with a backbone You could go until you get the wheel up When you're back home That's how we're tightening it No need to force it We all link like thugs down the chalk pit Walk with me, it's Cambridge, explore it Yeah, it's a beautiful town Cause Cambridge is my home I was born on Mill Road And I ain't never leaving town Nah, it's beyond that now Yeah, cause Cambridge is my home I was born on Mill Road And I ain't never leaving town Nah, it's beyond that now The studio used to be next to the death Put out a little demo doing shows on the regs And it showed that this Cambridge rap thing had legs since then It's been growing its strength and getting stronger Back then I knew two other crews, the list is getting longer There's a lot, talking Jimmy Danger, Big Slang and Max from Scott Scuff and Ninja, JTC and V Illa The bridge just got bigger, oh yeah and um, commission still grinding SMB and Dyke are getting famous for the shows they're providing Oh, while my mind's in gear, I best use it Can't forget one wish and T-Unit And don't assume we all rock on the same pace Big up Sinbad, KP and Screwface Mr. Melter too The scene's like a helter skelter and new waves And I got a plain view like Danny That we can exodus the pain if we all stay savvy so get at me if you want your name in part two. This is Cambridge, and this is how we come through. What? Cause Cambridge is my home. I was born on Mill Road, and I ain't never leaving town. Nah, it's beyond that now. So almost to jump ahead quite a few years now. You know, you sit here, you've got your your new EP out, the remarkable EP. Yeah, man. How do you feel like over the years you've progressed, and what have been the big lessons for you in in the way you you approach your writing and everything about you know music in general? Yeah, man. I mean, like for me, one of the biggest things has been coming from a verse writer to a songwriter. Being able to make a whole song on my own when I was working with delegates, it was just a case of writing a hot bar, you know, a little 16 or something, drop it on a track, injury would come along, scuff would come along, and then the track would get made like that. Now it's a case of me selecting the beats that I want to work with and then writing songs to it, getting the hook down and things like that. I never used to have to worry about a hook. I never used to have to worry about anything except for jumping in the booth and recording my hot verse, my little 16, and then go away until the record comes back, you know? So, so like, the last couple of years especially as um, getting a studio in my house and being able to to mix things and make them you know record my own vocals and things like that it's just given me a chance to be able to sit down you know write a few little hooks and stuff like that and I'm coming to a style that I quite like that stays true to my verse writer roots but still gives you a chance to sort of catch on to the same word a couple of times or something like that you know add a little repetition to it or whatever but uh, I feel quite happy I feel that the Remarkable EP is a nice accomplished piece Remy Lack did all the beats so it's got a nice feel to it and everything's nice man it's working well so I'm pleased You've had a vast experience in the Cambridge scene in the hip hop scene what's it been like for you watching this as it's progressed along you know from your young kid getting in the forefront going oh this is amazing I'm mm. getting in there to then suddenly being maybe the more mature MC at the gig and that the people that you know the person that people actually turn around to and go what are we doing uh, well it's, it's been waves because it's been strong since the 80s really from before I was involved now it's, it's it's really strong there's a lot of artists when we were here like I said there was only a handful of rap groups if you like or MCs and then over the years we've got much more of them recording their own stuff and things like that and it's been interesting to watch. I think we're talking about five years ago, something like that. We had what some might consider a little slump here where some of the MCs that are quite young weren't coming out yet or whatever. And you had like delegates, you had Scuff and Ninja doing their own thing. So delegates wasn't really a hole within Cambridge because um, them boys were off on the festival circuit. You had Dyke and SMB and all them boys doing good things with High Focus, doing all their gigs and stuff like that. So they were out of town and they were detrimental SMB to putting on lots of nights back in the day after organics and stuff like that. And people tend to judge the scene on how many nights are successful within it and what the places are to go out in as well. So I think now we're starting to have a bit of resurgence because there's lots of promoters coming out of the woodwork, putting lots of nights on all over the place and trying to find their feet in it and, you know, put on some good nights. 
rights. It's nice to have all of these people out here doing that when we did have a little bit of a quiet time for gigs after Dyke and them got signed to High Focus. But, you know, it's, that's only a little lull. People think it's just come back out of nowhere and it hasn't. It's been here, man. It's, it's been bubbling away and everybody's been working hard. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just nice to watch. It's nice to see a lot of the young MCs and not so young MCs as well. So mid-range MCs, man. I ain't calling nobody young. I know all of these <laughs> lads. Some of them are young, you know what I mean? But some of them ain't that young. They're just younger than me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, look, man, I, I, could, I could talk to you for all evening, mate, but I've, we've got to wrap it up because we're running out of time. But the new Remarkable EP is out now. If people yeah. want to get it and check it out, where can they go? Um, yeah, they can basically go to um, one or two places. You can either go to rhymepadrecords.bandcamp.com and you can go buy that directly from us there. Or you can go to www.rhymepad-radio.co.uk and that's like our home where you can get all the label stuff and all, keep in touch with me and keep in touch with the rest of my crew and all the rest of us. So, uh, yeah, man, go on them sites and find it out. We're on Facebook and all of that as well. I'm on Facebook, Stack of Lyrics, a.k.a. S Class. Awesome, Willett. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. I really appreciate it, man. And thanks for recording the live session with us. We've already played Home Out and it's, uh, it's been the track we've been leading from you. What's this next yes, one we're going to play? Yeah, this was the last song we recorded for the EP. It wasn't going to go on the EP, but then it was. I liked it. It had to go on. So, um, yeah, man, the one man's poison. Yeah, yeah. It's class stack of lyrics. Big up to Tom for having me up in here. Big up all the Cambridge crew. Holier, holier. Yeah. Remarkable EP. Yeah. I don't name drop, I drop gems, got hot phlegm like alien Aiming and impaling them, pop them in the cranium With something deep I'm training them, they're lost in sleep, I'll awaken them There's no debating on the fact they woke arresting lying With their blatant lying, bless them trying I don't write, I redefine the art of rhyming and I'm on form Feels like I came back from a long tour Got an encore from the moment I stepped on shore I've been at hospital, spent money on the concourse My daughter's better now, I'm about to make an onslaught I'm cooking all sorts, up with a strong sauce You don't know the origins, you're reading from the wrong source Of course, some of them don't like it when you're on course But my scene is strong, I wouldn't want yours If you're on board, better be in it for the long hauls Life's turbulent, we detour, but we don't pause I came back from the past to show them that I'm still a rapper I can't let these youngers come and take me for an actor But what's it matter anyway, it's for enjoyment One man's poison is a next man's ointment Next man's ointment One man's poison is a next man's ointment Next man's ointment One man's poison is a... Yeah, hey So nobody is the judge of what is top and top Some people thought hip-hop got a little lost Me, myself, I think some of it's a little soft But if you're keeping it real, why would you give up what? Each to their own, I'm deep in my zone So I don't even reach for the phone Gotta hold my senses Bench press a sentence, my brain's two engines, my heart pumps diesel If you follow my train of thought, where would it lead you? If you've got greed in you, I can't greet you Cause I'm at peace now from the things I've been through Yeah, I've seen enough to know that the seat's see-through You don't wanna try and bite the hand that might feed you I got more jewels if you want, I can teach you, yeah This is all gems, man, all jewels, check it I came back from the past to show them that I'm still a rapper I can't let these young'uns come and take me for an actor But what's it matter anyway, it's for enjoyment One man's poison is a next man's ointment Next man's ointment One man's poison is a next man's ointment Next man's ointment One man's poison is a yo Had to come back from the past to show them that I'm still a rapper I can't let these young'uns come and take me for an actor Or what's it matter anyway, it's for enjoyment One man's poison is a next man's ointment That's a next man's ointment One man's poison is a next man's ointment One man's poison is a next man's ointment One man's poison is a next man's ointment Yeah, 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 yeah yeah, big up my whole team. Ryan Pad Records doing things, delegates of culture. Big up Monster Truck, CD Man, Sammy B side. Big up Remulac. Yeah, the whole of the Cambridge scene, I said it. Big you all up. Yeah, peace. <laughs>